Hey everyone, have you ever wondered how to use a scanner to scan a high resolution image and bring it into Photoshop? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly that. I'm going to be using Epson Scanner uh, with Epson software called Epson Scan. And what we'll do today is scan an image um, using custom settings in Epson Scan. Uh, I will show you how to select only a portion of the uh, area that you're scanning um, and then how to upsize that target to a specific size and then how to save it as a non-compressed file um, as a TIFF and bring that into Photoshop and verify the quality. So let's get into it. So I'm going to show you how uh, today just how to use a scanner to scan this in, how to get good quality. This is a photo of my wife's uh, grandfather and it's embedded in this uh, kind of piece of wood with some kind of glaze. We have this uh, Epson V850 Pro scanner, uh, professional photographic scanner and uh, we're going to be doing this on a Mac. Today. No matter what kind of scanner you use, we'll always have this one corner that has this arrow in it, okay? And this arrow is called the origin of the scanner. So whenever the scanner um, has automatic settings or it's measuring you know, where the start of the image is going to be, it's going to be scanned, it's going to look um, to this corner as being the source. Okay. So this is uh, B5, this is letter size, we know that that is measured from that corner. If we were scanning a normal image, you know, a normal photo, we would place it, you know, right here in the corner of the image or the corner um, that has the marking and the origin. However, we're going to be using this weirdly shaped item here. So I'm just going to get this kind of placed up near the origin. I'm actually going to turn it upside down so that it is as close to the origin as possible. Cover this before I close the lid on it, just so it doesn't, you know, leave any marks or stains or anything like that on the white backing. This scanner is kind of hinged. I don't know if you can see it. It lets it lets the cover raise up a little bit. But the the purpose here is just to make sure that um, whatever you're scanning is pressed flat and stays flat against the uh, surface of the scanner. So uh, we'll jump into the screen grab here and take a look at how to do this. Okay, so here we are on my Mac. What um, I need to do here is we're gonna open Epson Scan. This is uh, professional scanner software that comes with um, your Epson scanner. This can be downloaded from their website. And we're gonna open the current scanner. Once it accesses the scanner here is um, it may have a starting screen where you pick the mode. We're going to do professional mode here because we want full control over um, how we're going to scan this. So we don't want to use auto mode or home mode. We're going to use professional mode. Okay, um, so document type is going to be reflective, which means that it's on the, uh, it, it's not using a film holder. Okay, document source is the document table. Um, we can do an auto exposure type of photo since we are scanning a photo. And then for the image type, um, go ahead and do the 24-bit color, okay? Resolution is 300 dpi, and this is saying what our document size is. So notice this is set automatically to letter size. So what this will do, if we just hit scan at this point, it would scan within the uh, boundary of the letter size that, that we saw the markers on the scanner for, and it would scan it at 300 dpi, okay? Now, what I want to do is, before setting any of this stuff, um, I want to go into the preview. So I'm going to click preview and what will happen is the scanner will do a preview scan of the image, right? Remember we turned it upside down so I could fit it up there into the corner. And um, I'm going to select this image with a marquee selector, okay? You know this term from Photoshop. And what we're going to do is we're going to just select the area that has the image I'm going to be um, repairing. Okay, notice what happens over here in the Epson scan window is it updates the document size, okay? So this is telling me that uh, the image I just selected is about 2.1 inches by 3.5 inches, okay? Now, if I want to upsize this document, um, this is two by three, that's pretty small. For example, if I wanted to use this in something like a five by seven, 
then what I need to do is I need to come in here and change uh, my width to um, or change my measurements to make sure that it's being upscaled to that. Okay, so if I need a minimum of five by seven, the width needs to be up to five inches. Now, what that really gives me is a five by eight. Um, so what I'm seeing is, you know, what I selected is actually a lot closer to maybe something by, uh, you know, eight by ten. So let's take an adjustment here and see where we're at. Six by ten. We'll just go ahead and up this width to eight inches just to get a lot of good resolution. Okay, notice the scanner is telling me that if I have a target document size of eight inches by 13 inches, that it needs to scale it up by 376% to get that size. And this thing can scan up to like some crazy amount of DPI. Um, I, I forget what the top end of the DPI is, but it can scan at a high enough DPI that it can take this 2.1 by 3.5 inch document, scan it at a high enough DPI to give me an 8 inch by 13 inch document at 300 DPI. Okay, so as long as I update my target size to be what I want the output to be, it will automatically adjust the scan resolution in order to uh, reflect that in the final product, okay? And then here in Epson Scan, what I do is I click this little icon here, and this is the file save settings. Um, this normally pops up when you hit the, the scan button, but I'm gonna go in now and make sure this is all set up correctly. I'm gonna call this um, um, Roger Senior, okay? And I'm going to actually uh, select the desktop. If this says something else here, you can just hit choose and browse to your uh, desktop or wherever you want to save your file. Okay, so I'm choosing desktop. I've named it. And then uh, what I want is a TIFF. I don't want a JPEG. That's a compressed lossy image format. Um, a TIFF is a non-lossy uh, format. So I'm just going to choose a plain TIFF and um, go ahead and hit OK here. It's a little hard to see with the colors they chose, but I'll hit OK. Okay, so now what I have is I have a 2.1 by 3.5 inch document being upscaled to eight by 13 inches at 300 DPI. Um, as far as any of these adjustments, I'm just gonna turn all these off uh, because uh, obviously we can edit these in Photoshop later. So. Um, you know, the, there is some uh, technology built into this Epson scanner. For example, if it was a dusty photo, um, stuff like that, I, I could choose some of these other settings um, to try to repair it in scan. But I think I'd rather just do all of that stuff in Photoshop. So now that my scan is all configured, um, what I can do is just hit scan. And again, this window pops up and I'll hit OK and it will scan it at full resolution and save that file to my desktop. Okay, so there it is. So notice when I open this file in Photoshop, um, it only scanned the area that I selected with the marquee. Okay, so we're not wasting extra time, extra pixels uh, by scanning the parts that I didn't want. Obviously we knew it was upside down. So I can just go ahead and uh, flip this thing vertically and we've got our image okay and we and now we have a good high resolution scan to work with and again if I if I go in here in Photoshop and look at my size image size uh, we can see that this is 8 by 13 at 300 dpi just like the scanner output said it would be um, now I do notice something else when we're zoomed in here that this image has this kind of uh, this uh, hexagon shape, and when they used to make these color photos, you know, back in probably the 70s, um, a lot of them had this this kind of uh, shape. So I've got um, this photograph scanned in, and I am now ready to work with it. Now, uh, real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at scanning a standard photo in the same way, just to see how easily we can adjust the size. So if I go back to my Epson scan, I've gone ahead and loaded 
the uh, other image that I was showing into the scanner bed there. And notice because I placed it in, because I placed this image at the origin of the scanner, when I measure it, I can just select the image right here and measure it. Um, what we see is it, it gives me another marquee selection. So notice that it's actually loading two different marquees here. And I believe what would happen is it would scan those two different areas and output two different images if I were to leave that. But instead, I'm going to delete the old one. When I go back in here, I can see that uh, my scan, it's about a 5 by 7 image, right? So um, I can actually update this to say 5 by 7. If I wanted to, um, you know, I'll put this at double that resolution. If I wanted to double the print size of this image when I were scanning it in, I could just go ahead and set the width to 10. It automatically adjusts the height by 14. And notice that it knows that it has to scan it in at basically 600 dpi to output a 10 by 14 inch image at 300 dpi. And if I were to uh, go ahead and set my settings and scan that, it would uh, do that, okay? And that's all built into the Epson scan software. So uh, it makes it fairly easy to work with and it um, makes it easy to calculate what size to scan it in because it just does all the math for you. Okay, so I hope uh, that was informative and that that gave you a good understanding of how to use a scanner to uh, bring an old photo into Photoshop to work with. So if this was useful to you, please give a like and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good one.